Equestrianism, Wikipedia Audio Equestrianism, more often known as riding, horse riding or horseback riding, refers to the skill of riding, driving, steeplechasing or vaulting with horses. This broad description includes the use of horses for practical working purposes, transportation, recreational activities, artistic or cultural exercises and competitive sport. Horses are trained and ridden for practical working purposes such as in police work or for controlling herd animals on a ranch. They are also used in competitive sports including, but not limited to, dressage, endurance riding, eventing, reining, show jumping, tent pegging, vaulting, polo, horse racing, driving and rodeo. Some popular forms of competition are grouped together at horse shows, where horses perform in a wide variety of disciplines. Horses are used for non-competitive recreational riding such as fox hunting, trail riding or hacking. There is public access to horse trails in almost every part of the world, many parks, ranches and public stables offer both guided and independent riding. Horses are also used for therapeutic purposes, both in specialized para-equestrian competition as well as non-competitive riding to improve human health and emotional development. Horses are also driven in harness racing, at horse shows and in other types of exhibition, historical reenactment, or ceremony, often pulling carriages. In some parts of the world, they are still used for practical purposes such as farming. Overview of Equestrian Activities Horses continue to be used in public service, in traditional ceremonies, police and volunteer mounted patrols and for mounted search and rescue. Riding halls enable the training of horse and rider in all weathers as well as indoor competition riding. Thoroughbred horse racing is the most popular form worldwide. In the UK, it is known as flat racing and is governed by the Jockey Club in the United Kingdom. In the USA, horse racing is governed by the Jockey Club. Steeplechasing involves racing on a track where the horses also jump over obstacles. It is most common in the UK, where it is also called national hunt racing. American Quarter Horse Racing races over distances of approximately a quarter mile. Seen mostly in the United States, sanctioned by the American Quarter Horse Association, Arabian Horses, Occultique, Appaloosas, American Paint Horses and other light breeds are also raced worldwide, endurance riding, a sport in which the Arabian horse dominates at the top levels has become very popular in the United States and in Europe. The Federation Equister International governs international races, and the American Endurance Ride Conference organizes the sport in North America. Endurance races take place over a given, measured distance and the horses have an even start. Races are usually 50 to 100 miles, over mountainous or other natural terrain with scheduled stops to take the horse's vital signs, check soundness, and verify that the horse is fit to continue. The first horse to finish and be confirmed by the veterinarian as fit to continue is the winner. Additional awards are usually given to the best-conditioned horses who finish in the top 10. Limited distance rides of about 25-20 miles are offered to newcomers, ride and tie. Ride and tie involves three equal partners, two humans and one horse. The humans alternately run and ride. Though there is controversy over the exact date horses were domesticated and when they were first ridden, the best estimate is that horses first were ridden approximately 3500 BC. Indirect evidence suggests that horses were ridden long before they were driven. There is some evidence that about 3000 BC, 
near the Dnieper River and the Don River, people were using bits on horses, as a stallion that was buried there shows teeth wear consistent with using a bit. However, the most unequivocal early archaeological evidence of equines put to working use was of horses being driven. Chariot burials about 2500 BC present the most direct hard evidence of horses used as working animals. In ancient times chariot warfare was followed by the use of war horses as light and heavy cavalry. The horse played an important role throughout human history all over the world, both in warfare and in peaceful pursuits such as transportation, trade, and agriculture. Horses lived in North America, but died out at the end of the Ice Age. Horses were brought back to North America by European explorers, beginning with the second voyage of Columbus in 1493. Humans appear to have long expressed a desire to know which horse were the fastest, and horse racing has ancient roots. Gambling on horse races appears to go hand in hand with racing and has a long history as well. Thoroughbreds have the preeminent reputation as a racing breed, but other breeds also race. Under or saddle. Show jumping. In harness. Show jumping is when a horse carries a rider over an obstacle also commonly known as a jump. There are usually multiple jumps in a show and if the horse hits the jump then they will get points deducted in a show. Equestrian events were first included in the modern Olympic Games in 1900. By 1912, all three Olympic disciplines still seen today were part of the Games. The following forms of competition are recognized worldwide and are a part of the equestrian events at the Olympics. They are governed by the rules of the International Federation for Equestrian Sports. The additional internationally sanctioned but non-Olympic disciplines governed by the FAE are, combined driving, endurance, reining, and vaulting. These disciplines are part of the FAE World Equestrian Games every four years and may hold their own individual world championships in other years. The FAE also recognizes horse ball and tent pegging as its two regional disciplines. Both light and heavy breeds as well as ponies are raced in harness with a sulky or racing bike. The standard bred dominates the sport in both trotting and pacing varieties. The United States Trotting Association organizes harness racing in the United States. Harness racing is also found throughout Europe, New Zealand, and Australia. History of Horse Use Para-equestrian competition at the international level, including the Paralympics, are also governed by the FAE and offer the following competition events. The Hoda Call, an advanced component of classical dressage, is a highly refined set of skills seldom used in competition but often seen in demonstration performances. Leading Hoda Call demonstration teams include Horse shows are held throughout the world with a tremendous variety of possible events, equipment, attire, and judging standards used. However, most forms of horse show competition can be broken into the following broad categories. In addition to the classical Olympic events, the following forms of competition are seen. In North America they are referred to as English riding in contrast with Western riding, elsewhere in the world, if a distinction is necessary, they are usually described as classic riding. Western riding evolved from the cattle working and warfare traditions brought to the Americas by the Spanish conquistadors, and both equipment and riding style evolved to meet the working needs of the cowboy on ranches in the American West. Though the differences between English and Western riding appear dramatic, there are many similarities. Both styles require riders to have a solid seat, with the hips and shoulders balanced over the feet, 
with hands independent of the seat so as to avoid disturbing the balance of the horse and interfering with its performance. Horse Racing Types of Horse Racing The most noticeable feature of Western style riding is in the saddle, which has a substantial tree that provides greater support to horse and rider when working long hours in the saddle. The western saddle features a prominent pommel topped by a horn, a deep seat and a high cantle. The stirrups are wider and the saddle has rings and ties that allow objects to be attached to the saddle. Dressage involves the progressive training of the horse to a high level of impulsion, collection, and obedience. Competitive dressage has the goal of showing the horse carrying out, on request, the natural movements that it performs without thinking while running loose, show jumping comprises a timed event judged on the ability of the horse and rider to jump over a series of obstacles, in a given order and with the fewest refusals or knockdowns of portions of the obstacles, eventing, also called combined training, horse trials, the three-day event, the military or the complete test, puts together the Obedience of dressage with the athletic ability of show jumping, the fitness demands the cross-country jumping phase. In the last named, the horses jump over fixed obstacles, such as logs, stone walls, banks, ditches and water, trying to finish the course under the optimum time. There was also the steeplechase phase which is now excluded from most major competitions to bring them in line with the Olympic standard. International and Olympic Disciplines Para-Equestrian Disciplines Hota Call Horse Shows English Riding Western horses are asked to perform with a loose rein, controlled by one hand. The standard western bridle lacks a noseband and usually consists of a single set of reins attached to a curb bit that has somewhat longer and looser shanks than the curb of an English Weymouth bridle or a Pelham bit. Two styles of western reins developed, the long split reins of the Texas tradition, which are completely separated, or the closed-end Romal reins of the California tradition which have a long single attachment on the ends that can be used as a quirt. Modern rodeo competitors in timed events sometimes use a closed rein without a romal. Para-equestrian dressage is conducted under the same rules as conventional dressage, but with riders divided into different competition grades based on their functional abilities. Para-equestrian driving places competitors in various grades based on their skill. Western riders wear a long-sleeved shirt, denim jeans, boots, and a wide-brimmed cowboy hat. Cowboy boots, which have pointed toes and higher heels than a traditional riding boot, are designed to prevent the rider's foot from slipping through the stirrup during a fall preventing the rider from being dragged most western saddles have no safety bars for the leathers or automatic stirrup release mechanism a rider may wear protective leather leggings called chaps clean well-fitting work clothing is the usual outfit seen in rodeo cutting and reining competitions especially for men though sometimes both men and women wear brighter colors or finer fabrics for competition than for work. The Cotter Noir in Saumur, France, the Spanish Riding School in Vienna, Austria, the Escola Portuguesa de Arte Equister in Claus, Portugal, Royal Andalusian School of Equestrian Art in Jerez de la Frontera, Spain. South African Lipit Sonners of Madrand in South Africa Show events such as Western Pleasure use much flashier equipment, unlike the English traditions where clothing and tack is quiet and unobtrusive. Saddles, bits and bridles are ornamented with substantial amounts of silver. The rider may add a jacket or vest, 
and women's clothing in particular features vivid colors and even, depending on current fads, rhinestones, or sequins. Equitation, sometimes called seat and hands or horsemanship, refers to events where the rider is judged on form, style, and ability, pleasure. Flat or under saddle classes feature horses who are ridden on the flat and judged on manners, performance, movement, style, and quality, halter, in hand breeding, or conformation classes, where the horse is led by a handler on the ground and judged on conformation and suitability as a breeding animal, harness classes, where the horse is driven rather than ridden but still judged on manners, performance, and quality. Jumping or over fences refers broadly to both show jumping and show hunter, where horses and riders must jump obstacles. Western Riding Western horses are asked to have a brisk, ground-covering walk, but a slow, relaxed jog trot that allows the rider to sit the saddle and not post. The Western version of the canter is called a lope and while collected and balanced, is expected to be slow and relaxed. Working Western horses seldom use a sustained hand gallop, but must be able to accelerate quickly to high speed when chasing cattle or competing in rodeo speed events, must be able to stop quickly from a dead run and turn on a dime. Horses, mules, and donkeys are driven in harness in many different ways. For working purposes, they can pull a plow or other farm equipment designed to be pulled by animals. In many parts of the world they still pull wagons for basic hauling and transportation. They may draw carriages at ceremonies, in parades or for tourist rides. As noted in horse racing above, Horses can race in harness, pulling a very lightweight cart known as a sulky. At the other end of the spectrum, some draft horses compete in horse pulling competitions, where single or teams of horses and their drivers vie to determine who can pull the most weight for a short distance. In horse show competition, the following general categories of competition are seen. Rodeo events include the following forms of competition. Roping includes a number of timed events that are based on the real-life tasks of a working cowboy, who often had to capture calves and adult cattle for branding, medical treatment and other purposes. A lasso or lariat is thrown over the head of a calf or the horns of adult cattle, and the animal is secured in a fashion dictated by its size and age. In spite of popular myth, most modern broncs are not in fact wild horses, but are more commonly spoiled riding horses or horses bred specifically as bucking stock. Harness There are many other forms of equestrian activity and sports seen worldwide. There are both competitive events and pleasure riding disciplines available. Handling, riding, and driving horses has a number of health risks. Hunt seat or hunter classes judge the movement and the form of horses suitable for work over fences. A typical show hunter division would include classes over fences as well as hunter under saddle or flat classes, in which the horse is judged on its performance, manners, and movement without having to jump. Hunters have a long, Flat need trot, sometimes called daisy cutter movement, a phrase suggesting a good hunter could slice daisies in a field when it reaches its stride out. The overfences classes in show hunter competition are judged on the form of the horse, its manners, and the smoothness of the course. A horse with good jumping form snaps its knees up and jumps with a good bascule. It should also be able to canter or gallop with control while having a stride long enough to make a proper number of strides over a given distance between fences. Hunter classes differ from jumper classes, in which they are not timed, and equitation classes, in which the rider's performance is the focus.
Hunter style is based on fox hunting, so jumps in the hunter division are usually more natural colors than the jumps in a jumper division, eventing, show jumping and dressage, described under Olympic disciplines, above are all English riding disciplines that in North America sometimes are loosely classified within the hunt seat category, saddle seat, is a primarily American discipline though has recently become somewhat popular in South Africa, was created to show to best advantage the animated movement of high-stepping and gated breeds such as the American Saddlebred and the Tennessee Walker. Some Arabians and Morgans are also shown saddle seat in the United States. There are usually three basic divisions. Park divisions are for the horses with the highest action. Pleasure divisions still emphasis animated action, but to a lesser degree, with manners ranking over animation. Plantation or country divisions have the least amount of animation and the greatest emphasis on manners. Show hack is a competition seen primarily in the United Kingdom, Australia, and other nations influenced by British traditions, featuring horses of elegant appearance with excellent way of going and self-carriage. A related event is riding horse. Rodeo Riding has some inherent risks, as when mounted, the rider's head may be up to 4m from the ground, and the horse may travel at a speed of up to 65 km per hour. The injuries observed range from very minor injuries to fatalities. Combined Driving, an internationally recognized competition where horses perform an arena-based dressage class where precision and control are emphasized, a cross-country marathon section that emphasizes fitness and endurance, an A-stadium or cones obstacle course, draft horse showing, most draft horse performance competition is done in harness, pleasure driving. Horses and ponies are usually hitched to a light cart shown at a walk and two speeds of trot, with an emphasis on manners. Fine harness, also called formal driving, horses are hitched to a light four-wheeled cart and shown in a manner that emphasizes flashy action and dramatic performance, roadster, a horse show competition where exhibitors wear racing silks and ride in a sulky in a style akin to harness racing only without actually racing, but rather focusing on manners and performance, carriage driving, using somewhat larger two- or four-wheeled carriages, often restored antiques. Judged on the turnout slash neatness or suitability of horse and carriage. A study in Germany reported that the relative risk of injury from riding a horse, compared to riding a bicycle, was nine times higher for adolescents and 5.6 times higher for younger children, but that riding a horse was less risky than riding a moped. In Victoria, Australia, a search of state records found that equestrian sports had the third highest incidence of serious injury, after motor sports and power boating. In Greece, an analysis of a national registry estimated the incidence of equestrian injury to be 21 per 100,000 person years for farming and equestrian sports combined, and 160 times higher for horse racing personnel. Other findings noted that helmets likely prevent traumatic brain injuries. Calf roping, also called tie-down roping is an event where a calf is roped around the neck by a lariat, the horse stops and sets back on the rope while the cowboy dismounts, runs to the calf, throws it to the ground and ties three feet together. This activity is still practiced on modern working ranches for branding, medical treatment, and so on. Team roping, also called heading and healing, is the only rodeo event where men and women riders may compete together. Two people capture and restrain a full-grown steer. One horse and rider, the header, lassos a running steer's horns, while the other horse and rider, the healer, 
lassos the steer's two hind legs. Once the animal is captured, the riders face each other and lightly pull the steer between them, so that it loses its balance, thus in the real world allowing restraint for treatment, breakaway roping an easier form of calf roping where a very short lariat is used, tied lightly to the saddle horn with string and a flag. When the calf is roped, the horse stops, allowing the calf to run on, flagging the end of time when the string and flag breaks from the saddle. In the United States, this event is primarily for women of all ages and boys under 12, while in some nations where traditional calf roping is frowned upon, riders of both genders compete. Timed Events Roping Rough Stock Competition In the United States each year an estimated 30 million people ride horses, resulting in 50,000 emergency room visits. A survey of 679 equestrians in Oregon, Washington and Idaho estimated that at some time in their equestrian career one in five will be seriously injured resulting in hospitalization, surgery, or long-term disability. Among survey respondents, novice equestrians had an incidence of any injury that was threefold over intermediates, fivefold over advanced equestrians, and nearly eightfold over professionals. Approximately 100 hours of experience are required to achieve a substantial decline in the risk of injury. The survey authors conclude that efforts to prevent equestrian injury should focus on novice equestrians. The most common injury is falling from the horse, followed by being kicked, trampled, and bitten. About three out of four injuries are due to falling, broadly defined. A broad definition of falling often includes being crushed and being thrown from the horse but when reported separately each of these mechanisms may be more common than being kicked. In Canada, a 10-year study of trauma center patients injured while riding reported that although 48% had suffered head injuries, only 9% of these riders had been wearing helmets at the time of their accident. Other injuries involved the chest, abdomen, and extremities. A German study reported that injuries in horse riding are rare compared to other sports, but when they occur they are severe. Specifically, they found that 40% of horse riding injuries were fractures, and only 15% were sprains. Furthermore, the study noted that in Germany, one quarter of all sport-related fatalities are caused by horse riding. Most horse-related injuries are a result of falling from a horse, which is the cause of 60-80% of all such reported injuries. Another common cause of injury is being kicked by a horse, which may cause skull fractures or severe trauma to the internal organs. Some possible injuries resulting from horse riding, with the percent indicating the amounts in relation to all injuries as reported by a New Zealand study, include Among 36 members and employees of the Hong Kong Jockey Club who were seen in a trauma center during a period of five years, 24 fell from horses and 11 were kicked by the horse. Injuries comprised, 18 torso, 11 head, face, or neck, and 11 limb. The authors of this study recommend that helmets, face shields and body protectors be worn when riding or handling horses. In New South Wales, Australia, a study of equestrians seen at one hospital over a six-year period found that 81% were wearing a helmet at the time of injury and that helmet use both increased over time and was correlated with a lower rate of admission. In the second half of the study period, of the equestrians seen at a hospital, only 14% were admitted. In contrast, a study of child equestrians seen at a hospital emergency room in Adelaide reported that 60% were admitted. 
In the United States, an analysis of National Electronic Injury Surveillance System data performed by the Equestrian Medical Safety Association studied 78,279 horse-related injuries in 2007, the most common injuries included fractures, contusions-slash-abrasions, strain-slash-sprain, internal injury, lacerations, concussions, dislocations, and hematomas. Most frequent injury sites are the lower trunk, head, upper trunk, shoulder, and wrist. Within this study patients were treated and released, were hospitalized, were transferred, left without being treated, remained for observation and arrived at the hospital deceased. Horseback riding is one of the most dangerous sports, especially in relation to head injury. Statistics from the United States, for example, indicate that about 30 million people ride horses annually. On average, about 67,000 people are admitted to the hospital each year from injuries sustained while working with horses. 15,000 of those admittances are from traumatic brain injuries. Of those, about 60 die each year from their brain injuries. Studies have found horseback riding to be more dangerous than several sports, including skiing, auto racing and football. Horseback riding has a higher hospital admittance rate per hours of riding than motorcycle racing at 0.49 per thousand hours of riding and 0.14 accidents per thousand hours, respectively. Head injuries are especially traumatic in horseback riding. About two-thirds of all riders requiring hospitalization after a fall have sustained a traumatic brain injury. Falling from a horse without wearing a helmet is comparable to being struck by a car. Most falling deaths are caused by head injury. The use of riding helmets substantially decreases the likelihood and severity of head injuries. When a rider falls with a helmet, he or she is five times less likely to experience a traumatic brain injury than a rider who falls without a helmet. Helmets work by crushing on impact and extending the length of time it takes the head to stop moving. Despite this, helmet usage rates in North America are estimated to be between 8 and 20 percent. Once a helmet has sustained an impact from falling, that part of the helmet is structurally weakened, even if no visible damage is present. Helmet manufacturers recommend that a helmet that has undergone impact from a fall be replaced immediately. In addition, Helmets should be replaced every three to five years. Specific recommendations vary by manufacturer. Many organizations mandate helmet use in competition or on show grounds, and rules have continually moved in the direction of requiring helmet use. In 2011, the United States Equestrian Federation passed a rule making helmet use mandatory while mounted on competition grounds at U.S. nationally rated eventing competitions. Also in 2011, the United States Dressage Federation made helmet use in competition mandatory for all riders under 18 and all riders who are riding any test at fourth level and below. If a rider competing at pre ST, George's and above is also riding a test at fourth level or below, he or she must also wear a helmet at all times while mounted. The idea that riding a horse astride could injure a woman's sex organs is a historic, but sometimes popular even today, misunderstanding or misconception, particularly that riding astride can damage the hymen. Evidence of injury to any female sex organs is scant. In female high-level athletes, trauma to the perineum is rare and is associated with certain sports. The type of trauma associated with equestrian sports has been termed horse rider's perineum. 
a case series of four female mountain bike riders and two female horse riders found both patient reported perineal pain and evidence of subclinical changes in the clitoris, the relevance of these findings to horse riding is unknown. In men, sports-related injuries are among the major causes of testicular trauma. In a small controlled but unblinded study of 52 men, varicocele was significantly more common in equestrians than in non-equestrians. The difference between these two groups was small, however, compared to differences reported between extreme mountain bike riders and non-riders, and also between mountain bike riders and on-road bicycle riders. Horse riding injuries to the scrotum and testes were well known to surgeons in the 19th century and early 20th century. Injuries from collision with the pommel of a saddle are mentioned specifically. Organized welfare groups, such as the Humane Society of the United States, and animal rights groups such as People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, have been known to criticize some horse sports with claims of animal cruelty. Horse racing is a popular equestrian sport which is practiced in many nations around the world. It is inextricably associated with gambling, where in certain events, stakes can become very high. Despite its illegality in most competitions, these conditions of extreme competitiveness can lead to the use of performing enhancing drugs and extreme training techniques, which can result in negative side effects for the horse's well-being. The races themselves have also proved dangerous to the horses especially steeplechasing, which requires the horse to jump hurdles whilst galloping at full speed. This can result in injury or death to the horse, as well as the jockey. A study by animal welfare group Animal Aid revealed that approximately 375 race horses die yearly, with 30% of these either during or as a result of injuries from a race. The report also highlighted the increasing frequency of race-related illnesses, including bleeding lungs and gastric ulcers. Animal rights groups are also primarily concerned that certain sports or training exercises may cause unnecessary pain or injuries to horse athletes. Some specific training or showing practices are so widely condemned that they have been made illegal at the national level and violations can incur criminal penalties. The most well known is soaring a practice of applying a caustic ointment just above the hooves of a Tennessee walking horse to make it pick up its feet higher. However, in spite of a federal law in the United States prohibiting this practice and routine inspections of horse shows by inspectors from the United States Department of Agriculture, sowing is still widespread and difficult to eliminate. Some events themselves are also considered so abusive that they are banned in many countries. Among these are horse tripping, a sport where riders chase and rope a loose running horse by its front legs, throwing it to the ground. Secondary effects of racing have also recently been uncovered. A 2006 investigation by The Observer in the UK found that each year 6,0010,000 horses are slaughtered for consumption abroad, a significant proportion of which are horses bred for racing. A boom in the number of foals bred has meant that there is not adequate resources to care for unwanted horses. Demand has increased for this massive breeding program to be scaled back. Despite over 1,000 foals being produced annually by the thoroughbred horse industry, 66% of those bred for such a purpose were never entered into a race, and despite a life expectancy of 30 years, many are killed before their fifth birthday. Horse riding events have been selected as a main motif in numerous collectors' coins. One of the recent samples is the 10 euros Greek horse riding commemorative coin, minted in 2003 to commemorate the 2004 Summer Olympics. 
On the composition of the obverse of this coin, the modern horseman is pictured as he jumps over an obstacle, while in the background the ancient horseman is inspired by a representation on a black figure vase of the 5th century BC. For the 2012 Olympics, the Royal Mint has produced a 50p coin showing a horse jumping a fence. A mounted rider from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police is featured on a 1973 Canadian quarter-dollar coin. International Rodeo Other equestrian activities Arena sports Horse sports that use cattle Defined area sports Cross-country sports Health issues Mechanisms of injury Types and severity of injury Head injuries Rules on helmet use in competition Riding astride Criticism of horses in sport Horse riding on coinage Bronc riding There are two divisions in rodeo, bareback bronc riding where the rider rides a bucking horse holding onto a leather sasingle or rigging with only one hand, and saddle bronc riding, where the rider rides a modified western saddle without a horn while holding onto a braided lead rope attached to the horse's halter, bull riding though technically not an equestrian event, as the cowboys ride full-grown bulls instead of horses, skills similar to bareback bronc riding are required. Arm fracture or dislocation, head injury, leg fracture or dislocation, chest injury.